Hello and welcome to this tutorial from Rusty Mango Design. In this tutorial we're going to look at how you change variations on your products so that you can monitor stock levels and automatic warnings will be sent out to you when you are low in stock on variated products and also when you are out of stock on variated products. To do that we need to go back to our products menu and click on products to bring up a listing of all the products in our store. Let's pick one that has variations on it. We're going to go for this one here by clicking on its title and we've got the edit product screen. We can ignore the top half of the screen. The area we're interested in is down here in variations. I'm going to click on that and you can see that I've got three sizes set up here. To check out those three sizes I can click on that top button there and you can go down and look at what's the settings for that particular variation. So as you can see it's not managing the stock at the moment so I'm going to tick that and turn it on and when I do I get a little window here that says stock quantity so let's say in the size 8 for this dress we have 5 in the store now remember from a previous tutorial when that stock level gets to 2 you will automatically receive an email that says this product is low in stock when it gets to 0 once again you will get an email that says this product is out of stock so that's as easy as it is to change. Now just remember if you don't have all the sizes set up here and it just says any size like that, you need to go and change those to the sizes that you do have and you'll need to click on this button here a few times to bring up the different variations. You can see them coming up there. So it's just set to any sizes. You need to change that and actually put the sizes of that particular product or colors depending on what variations you're using. You need to put those one by one underneath. You can't just use the top one that says any sizes. That won't work for any colors depending on what your variation is. You need to use the different variations themselves because obviously in the different variations you'll have certain numbers of stock. So you need to make sure that that doesn't say any sizes. You list each of the variations in turn. Now I'm going to remove those two before I save. Get rid of that one and I click on remove there again and I'm back to the original ones. So that's how you edit the variations so that you can monitor your stock levels.